How to unload the Quingo flight. Step 1. Park your car appropriately. Always park your car on a hard, flat surface. Switch off the engine and apply the handbrake. Always allow 3 metres or 10 feet of space behind your car for loading and unloading. Step 2. Slide out the docking station ramps. Firstly, fully open the tailgate of your car. On the left hand side of the docking station, release the locking latch. Now grab both the green handles and fully extend the ramps. Here you can use the assisting cane to avoid unnecessary bending. Two sets of OK labels will be displayed to confirm that the ramps are fully extended. Next, check that the ramp maximum angle indicator is showing green only. If it shows red like this, it indicates that the angle is too steep. Step 3. Using the remote to unload the flight. Use the ignition key to unlock the remote from the rear lockable box. Ensure the remote cable is fully extended and tangle free. Be careful not to trap or pull on the cable. For your safety, always stand to one side of the ramps before loading. Press the silver down button continuously. The Quingo flight will now slowly power itself out of your car and down the ramps. Continue until there is a gap of approximately 1 meter or 3 feet. Replace the remote into the lockable box and keep the key safe. The lights on the scooter should now be flashing with a 1 second interval. This is normal. Step 4. Return the ramps to the docking station. Using the assistance cane if required, lift the green grips of the ramps to bring them horizontal. Place the cane in the centre ramp. Slowly walk the ramps towards the car until the locking latch engages. Finally, check the ramps are secure. Step 5. The flight unfolding sequence. Release the tiller from its velcro fastening and lift it upwards until it locks into position. Now lift the seat assembly upwards keeping the seat base level until it locks into place. Finally lift the back support into driving position. Here again you can use the assisting cane to avoid any unnecessary bending. Step 6. Disengage the flight mode levers. The rear green lever must be set to drive mode. Pull the lever up and the rear and front lights will now flash rapidly. Rapid flushing means another step is necessary. Next, push the side lever forward to the green drive position. The lights should now go out. Here again you can use the assisting cane to avoid any unnecessary bending. Step 7. Prepare flight for drive mode. Quingo Flight has two baskets. Select the front basket and with the locking pin, attach it back to the frame. Next, select the centre basket and return it to its magnetic retainers. There are two armrests, left and right. Select the left armrest and tighten using the thumb screw. Followed by the right hand armrest and again ensure the thumb screw is tightly secured. Finally, close the tailgate of your car and return the key to the Quingo Flight's ignition switch. Your Quingo Flight is now ready to drive.